doing some night fly fishing for fluke. Well, hopefully they're about. Wow, that's a nice fish. Get a little better fish at night, that's for sure. Well, hopefully. Let's see how big he is. He might be a keeper. Pretty darn close. Tonight I'm going to be doing some night fly fishing for fluke, just getting started, and uh, I am throwing pretty much so going to be throwing half and halves, uh, maybe some clousers, and that's about it. I just got 15 pound tippet on. Uh, I'm going to talk about what I'm doing if the fish show up or if I catch the fish. We'll see. But uh, night fishing, fly night fly fishing tonight. And then we'll see what's about. So we have three things tonight uh, for the fluke. Well, two out of the three things that I would look for for night fluke. We've got light, we've got structure, but not too much bait, um, which can be good because if there are fluke around, they'll find your bait, your fly, or your gulp, or whatever you're using a lot easier. So it's just going to, you know, you're just going to have to work harder without that bait. But I think there's always, might be better some nights because they're just going to find that bait. We got two out of the three things to look for when fishing for fluke at night. Uh, a couple guys asked, so that's what I, uh, night fluke fishing. I'm not sure what this is. Wow, it's a perfect, wow, that's a perfect. Smaller than the other guy, but he fought harder. I thought he was a blue. I'm just night fishing, night fly fishing for flu. And, uh, I'll talk a little bit about how we're doing it, and hopefully we'll get a few fish. That's a couple. Hopefully we get at least a couple. Oh. And uh, I was just going to change the color. But I'm going to stick with the olive uh, half half clouser deceiver. Uh -huh. This is the fly I'm using. I usually tied it a little different tonight. A couple of them. I'm using these the other day. Pretty much so the same way. Except I wrap those chicken feathers around the shank to make like a fuller body. And uh, most of it's all the same. Medium clouser. It's a size. Uh, one o hook, I believe, and uh, medium eyes olive red thread. That's what I'm using. Mm, it's great in the water. One thing I like to mention is at night, I like to use maybe if you can two weights heavy a line at night. Um, you're not looking for distance. Uh, very rarely do I look for distance anyway, but that heavier line, especially on a windier night like tonight, it's probably between 8 to 12, maybe the occasional 8 to 12, maybe a little heavy, a little slower at times. Um, and that heavier line will give you that control you need. If you got a dead calm, if you have a dead calm still night, uh, you can definitely get away, you know what I mean, with a lighter line. But overall, that heavier line just going to flip-flop and play and cast a lot better, especially when you're throwing bigger flies. They even brought me a little snack today. I'm trying to help my friend here. I didn't bring a thingy. 
and he's cooperating, which is good. And he's one lucky fella. Live on, buddy, live on. Tell me. I saw some small blues jumping, so I am going to finish out the night with an epoxy minnow. See if I can hook in, hook into one of those blues. Chartreuse. I think it's weighted. So, it wasn't a lot, but they're definitely there. Whoa. Wow, that's a nice fish. Wow. That's a nice one. He just didn't feel that. Let's see if we can get it back. Wow, he's a keeper. That is a keeper. I'll just wipe off that lens. That's a nice fish. So the epoxy minnow took, that was the big fish of the night, and uh, saw some small blues jumping, and I figured, okay, let me see if I could pick out a couple of them before they go. They stopped, and Luke just grabbed that plum out, and that's actually a hackle tail, uh, chicken feather tail, and uh, you can check out this here formula. It was tied by a friend of mine, Tim. He calls himself the Fishing Ham, has his own YouTube channel. You can show his process when he ties these here uh, epoxy minnows. So check that out. Did the job tonight. I'm going to go to a Charisse or a pink. Half and a half now. That's a nice one. Mm. No cap. One thing with those fluke real quick, uh, when you're fly fishing, I noticed is your fly generally will be well above the bottom, sometimes on the bottom, but so you get really good hits because they come up for them, you grab it, and they go right back down. So your line will kind of like either it'll feel like it slowly gets stuck or you'll just feel them hit hard and uh, they play great on the fly give it a try um, because there's no weight uh, it's just your fly to your line and uh, right through your rod so it's a really great play on the fly rod anyway I think there's some bait showed up This might be a bass. Wow. I gotta get that man. I gotta get him in. Just walk 
fucking one of him. That's a nice fish. Yeah, got a bunch of hooks in my sleeve. Tangled in my line. I put them in my pocket. Wow. That was exciting. Told you I saw those blues out there. <laughs> Ooh, thinking about dinner. We'll let them go. I got this mess. I had that in my front pocket, which made it the fight the more interesting hooks and lines that was around that crib a crib I freed I put it in here okay. <laughs> that was a good hook set we should have lost it I thought he was fast a lot of energy in it. 